How frustrating is it having to type the same thing every single time you open and use Claude? Your role, project details, the context over and over again. Now, what a complete waste of time this is. Now, as a project manager, I was doing this pretty much constantly, re-explaining details and copy-pasting project context. Now, it wasn't just annoying, it ate up hours every single day. But did you know that Claude has functionality built in that fixes this once and for all? Now, it's called Projects, and in this video, next few minutes, I'm gonna be showing you what it is and how it works so that you can benefit from them going forward. By the way, if you are interested in going deeper into using AI to actually run and streamline projects, I've built a full framework called AI for Project Managers. It shows you step-by-step -step how to save hours every week and every day using tools, including Claude, in real project management situations and workflows. So if you are interested in that, I will leave a link in the description down below. But back to today's video, what is a project? Well, a project in Claude is basically a way to keep everything separate, organized, and easy to find. Think of it like folders on your computer, but significantly smarter. For instance, you could have a project for project A or project alpha, another for project B, project beta. You could even have another one for your personal planning and work. Now the benefits of doing this and using projects are multiple. For instance, you don't lose chats in a messy history. You don't have to re-explain context every time and you don't risk tasks or ideas clashing across different work streams. Now, each project is its own safe space where all of your conversations, messages and knowledge live together, ready whenever you need them and if you need to pick back up on them. So how does it work? Well, you've seen me click on this project button on the left hand side and it all starts by clicking new project. But when you have an account with Claude, this dummy project will be set up in advance for you. So I would recommend opening that up, seeing how that has been set up and just kind of learning from this interface how it works. It's very, very basic and it's very, very easy to use. One thing I will say at this point of the video is you do want to consider what your workflow will, you want it to look like or how you want to organize things. So two simple approaches to this. You could have a kind of big folder approach. So you could have one project for a whole area of work or a program. So an example of this would be, say, a marketing plan for 2025 with all chats about the campaigns, the content ideas and budgets, etc., in one place. The other way of doing it is more of a granular approach. So separate projects for individual projects or individual tasks or maybe even individual clients. That way, nothing will ever get mixed up. So this is where you can see that in action. So we've got project beta, project alpha, project gamma, etc. So setting up a project is simple. You just press this new project button. You then give it a name, make it sure it's exclusive and something that you haven't named before. Otherwise, uh, it's going to get confusing very, very quickly. And also give a description of what that project is trying to achieve. Once you've done that, so let's just set up project gamma. Just so you can see what happens when you do that. The next thing you will need to do is add some custom instructions. So what these basically are, are um, they're a way of providing extra context and detail. So this would be such as I work for a large finance company. I'm a project manager of 15 years. I'm based in the UK. So my uh, we need British English uh, language. You know, we don't need the correct spelling for that. That's an example of a uh, specific project custom or project instructions. So think of them as a quick briefing. So Claude knows or always knows what you're working on and what good looks like for you. Okay. The next thing you want to do is add some files. So, um, so obviously put those in, hit save instructions. You then want to add some files So click this button here, and then you have various different options. You can pull them in from Google drive and GitHub. Um, but most commonly you want to upload them from your device. Now add any relevant uh, files here. So it could be PDFs, it could be spreadsheets, budgets, templates, 
you get the idea, but the more information you can upload, the better. It can even be images as well, Word documents with client notes, code, etc., text files. Just make sure that you have permission to do so and that adding them to your, or uploading them to Claude aligns with your company's policies and um, yeah, just make sure you, you, you're careful with any sensitive data. So you've done both of those, done your instructions, you've done your files. The next thing to consider is your chat. So this is where you'll start working on your project and start giving instructions. You start putting your tasks and your asks and you will correspond with the interface accordingly. You type it in and then hit kind of submit. Now, one thing I will mention at this stage is there's very different things you can also do here. For instance, you can change the model. So the model are essentially the power of how Claude works. And if you kind of hover over, it gives a bit of a description. Generally, the higher the number, the better. And Opus, as an example, or, or the higher the model, the kind of more powerful it typically tends to be. So Opus 4 is considered the, the largest or most powerful model, though they have just introduced 4.5 at time of recording. Now, just consider that models are always changing, always updating and always improving. So depending on when you watch this, depends on what model you should probably use. And also it depends on your task. For, for projects, you kind of want to use the best model available, I would say. The, the kind of inferior models aren't typically best for projects. The next thing you need to consider is pressing this plus button. This again enables you to add specific files to specific messages. You can take screenshots and you can even add from Google Drive. Um, also, you have the ability to change the style. So if you click these little search and tools, you can change the style to be kind of normal learning, concise, explanatory, formal. This will influence the response you get back. You can also credit, create and edit your own. Other things to consider here are extended thinking. So if you put this on, basically Claude is not just going to throw out the first thing that it thinks you're looking for. It will kind of, it'll be, it's a more considered approach. Um, so that's better for more complex challenges. Web search will pull in information from online. So it's just having kind of these crawlers doing its thing. And you can also do other things like search via Drive, Gmail, Calendar, uh, or you can add connectors and manage them from here. Just something to bear in mind. This research button, you know, if you press that, it's going to do it's going to do some more in, in advanced research. I think that from memory is um, kind of ties in with extended thinking in some kind of capacity. So just bear that in mind. So once you've done that, you build up your chats and the chats will start to populate here, which is absolutely fantastic. One thing I will say is you can drag existing chats you've already had in Claude into a project. So don't think that any work you've done up to this point has been lost. You simply right click on them or click these little three dots and then click add to project. The other thing you can do is hold it and drag it into the project area as well. That is useful. So ultimately with projects, the more you keep a repeated workflow inside a project and refine your project instructions, the better the output will get. Now, if you do run into um, issues or you, you run the same task frequently, do stick to the project because it really is going to help you get the output you're looking for much faster. And with each iteration, Claude will become more on target, especially if you add gentle guardrails like less like this or more like that. Ultimately, projects in Claude will transform how you can work. They will help you stay organized, save time and keep your work streams separate. And thanks to the large context window and scalable rag, you'll get better output right from the start. So now it's over to you. Go create your first project today if you haven't already. And don't forget to check out my AI for project management framework if you want to take this even further and to the next level.